So in the March developer update from Amazon, we learned of something that I think is going to have a very big impact for a lot of servers in New World. And actually I think overall it will help keep players in the long term. And that change is of course cross-realm play. Now in the past they had hinted that Outpost Rush was possibly going to get like cross-realm play, but in this developer update it was confirmed that Outpost Rush will get it, Expeditions will get it, and so will Arenas. And there has been a comment which I've been unable to find but I saw a screenshot of which sort of implies that cross-realm Realm might come sooner than I thought originally. But in the developer update they said that cross realm would effectively come when it's ready. Obviously if you rush something like that it can break so it's just going to come when they're happy with it. But are we able to put any sort of better time frame on it? Mm, yes and no. With Outpost Rush I think it's just going to happen when it's ready. But for Expeditions, well obviously I think you're going to need the group finder to be in place before you start introducing cross realm otherwise there's like no way of that working. And of course we know that the group finder as per the roadmap is scheduled for summer so I think Think we can expect that like well obviously june july or august probably let's just say july and either at that time or before then that will be when orbs are essentially getting removed as a requirement and will be used as an upgrade to the loot that you get dropped so outpost rush cross realm will just happen when it's ready expedition cross realm will either happen when the group finder goes live or sometime afterwards but there was a message as i said i cannot find it for the life of me and i've been scouring the internet but there was a message where somebody asked something like hey just doing pvp arena on a small server against the same players over and over it's just going to get pretty boring and the reply was who said that you're going to be playing against the people on your server so cross realm to arenas is almost certainly coming we know that but is that going to be introduced by the time we actually get pvp arenas pvp arenas on the roadmap are scheduled for spring and we're looking at april or may the i sort of suspect may myself so it would seem possible that we're going to get some sort of cross realm play in the next couple of months that would be a game changer and obviously completely beneficial you would think or would it now personally i have to confess that i'm not actually a big fan of cross realm play i really like the community building element and the reputation that you get on a server i sort of like that being meaningful you know like in the good old days of uh, vanilla wow for example like when you were in a battleground and you recognize somebody you'd be like oh i'm gonna get them and you know if you ever did a dungeon and you were a tank or a healer and people liked you they'd invite you back and you try and do more dungeons with them cross realm obviously sort of takes some of that away but hell even world of warcraft weren't cross realm at first with battle grounds and then obviously dungeons and stuff like that and it's a very simple reason why on servers where the players numbers start dropping off well it doesn't really matter how well you know people or how much your reputation matters as if there's only like 20 of you and there's not enough to start an outpost rush that kind of stuff doesn't matter now one alternative solution to this problem would be to actually just increase the size of the servers but that's not really practical for a new world for two main reasons obviously the world isn't designed for that as in it's just simply not big enough there's not enough like oracle nodes and all that kind of stuff so it wouldn't really make sense and secondly i don't think the game is technically capable of that because a lot of new world is actually server side we would probably experience like more desync and more issues if the world was any bigger and so if you can't have like much bigger servers players are going to come and go with new content and leave when they get bored of that content and maybe just leave over time as new world is seen so really cross realm play is the next like best thing i think cross realm play is going to mean that you're less likely to want to transfer off your server i mean to some extent people will still want to play with other people it is an mmo after all and if your server is completely dead you're gonna start being like what's going on here but interestingly to me new world is actually positioned in a way where being on a quiet server has some benefits if for example hey you can still do expeditions you can still do outpost rush you can still do arenas because there's cross realm play well there's benefits to being on a quiet server for example it's possible that we'll see the community sort of develop its own like hardcore pvp groups and it's sort of more casual pvp groups and in eu we've actually already seen that some groups just got together and they all decided to go to like one hardcore pvp group because they actually wanted a challenge when it came to like the territories so we might actually see like quieter servers being more casual and then the more populated servers being more hardcore which then might allow like your non-elite tryhards into wars and that kind of thing so being on a quieter server potentially has that like beneficial element to it and of course like resources might be more available but we'll talk about that in a minute i do just want to say to amazon game studios that they are going to be introducing like a casual version of wars and invasions and well i think that that's a bad idea not because i don't think like casual should be able to play them i of course think they should but simply because i 
don't think they're very fun. Now, maybe you'll all disagree with me, but in my experience, they're not actually that fun interactive modes. I'd much rather see that effort just be worked on like another battleground. Anyway, the community might separate themselves into like hardcore and like casuals, and it might mean that most players can find a home that actually suits them and you'll not be cut off from Outpost Rush, etc. And it really won't matter as much that your server only has 400 people on it because you can still do those things. So this is basically going to save some servers or potentially just prolong it so that they don't get like instantly destroyed when people transfer off. The death of a server won't be so immediate or as painful. And when we get the paid transfers, which seem to be coming sort of relatively soon, it might actually see people opt in to these quieter servers for the reasons I've just given. Now, paid transfers themselves actually bring a bit of problems that I'm not sure how they're going to be solved. As they were announced in the developer update, the risk is pretty simple. What you might see is people go to a lower populated server get all of the resources and then go back to their original server and basically profit like that in a way being a little bit pay to win now you can put a cooldown on your server transfer maybe and that will help but it may not get rid of that problem full stop and i'm not going to talk about the ways of getting around that but trust me i think some people will use that to their advantage and worse than that actually we might see companies that literally go from like a hardcore server they may be like really good pvpers and maybe they just go and troll the people who aren't as good as them on the like casual quiet servers for reasons of fun they just all move over to a server kill everybody take all the zones put up the taxes insanely high transfer off have a good laugh but i think most of these issues would be solved with like a cooldown of like two months or something like that i just really hope that amazon have thought that through but yeah overall cross realm is coming and i just i'm very excited about the advantages that it gives yes i'm a little bit sad that that community feel and your reputation will matter a little bit less but quite frankly i think it's sort of inevitable and the benefits quite vastly outweigh the negative Negatives. because if you're stuck on a quieter server and you can't do that content well your only option is to transfer but then you've already built connections and it's all a bit of a faff doing cross realm enables you to actually play the like daily content like all oh, expeditions now they don't require orbs eventually i can just do that daily outpost rush or i can get a queue any time of the day i like arenas presumably there's going to be like a solo person queue maybe you can just do that for some fun all very well and what's that i'll just stay on my quiet server so cross realm i think is going to be game changing and i hope for it as soon as possible obviously i don't want to rush it but i want it as soon as possible and the point being that these arenas might actually be where it comes in rather than outpost rush i only wish that i could find the screenshot this one's a bit more of a rambly video a little bit more of just a general subject of like uh, cross realm play if you like this video do let me know in the comments below and obviously press the like button come and follow me on twitch have a most beautiful day goodbye